happy weekend folks and i'm glad to be in my kitchen again after many many weekends i get to do something that i really like to do and that's cooking for my family so today i'm going to do the mangalorean fish curry what do i have today uh, this is fresh sea bass so i got some fresh sea bass and i'm glad that i got that so that's the fish that i'm going to cook and then what are the ingredients that we use in the mangalorean fish curry well first we have this roasted masalas so this has coriander seeds cumin seeds that's jeera then methi fenugreek and peppercorns and then we have some garlic and roasted uh, red chili now apart from garlic all the others are roasted without oil and then we have the coconut uh, tamarind shallots or small onions ginger green chili okay so how we going to do this now is we going to grind the coconut the tamarind half of the shallots or the onions we are not grinding the green chili and ginger that's just going to be boiled with the other ingredients and the roasted masala so the roasted masala onions tamarind and coconut will go into the uh, mixer we're going to mix it and grind it to a nice paste along with the garlic of course and then what we are going to do is we are going to take a pot and we are going to bring the masala with some cut onions green chili and ginger to a boil add some turmeric powder and salt i have if you realized i have started using this brown organic salt in chennai we get it in the organic farmers market ofm and they are going to have a stall tomorrow they have it every sunday and i go and buy my produce from there so i'm going to add this salt and when the masala is bubbling i add the fish now another thing with fish is you shouldn't overcook the fish the cook the fish should cook only for one boil that's when the fish remains soft and nice so this is what is happening in my kitchen today if you have any enquiries or you want to know more about what's the ingredient that you need to use or any questions on this please feel free to contact me but otherwise this is the yummy dish that we are going to have today and i'm definitely showing you the end product till such time have fun and have a lovely weekend we are this is what i was talking about the one boil theory so sea bass is a very soft fish so i'm not going to overcook it or over boil it now that it's boiling that's the first boil the gas is on we're going to switch it off and then just cover it and keep it and when i'm going to use this this can be had with hot steaming um steam rice and vegetables and i'm going to cover and keep it and then use it later and when i'm going to have it i'm going to take a picture of how it looks along with the vegetable and the steam rice so just cover it up and keep watching